welcome back for this fifth video. My name is Bruno Faven, so it's just about the release I just made of this article. Um, I'm gonna present this time, so you can first subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, and you have everything of the the code is available right here on my GitHub account. Uh, I've created a dedicated uh, directory where you have all the source code for each of the um, each of the articles that are dedicated to intelligence for posture. But let's get let's dive directly. So we've seen in the previous video we've seen how to use a make file to avoid typing things because you see me in the in the previous video you see me typing a lot. Uh, this simple API was called Mamma Mia and I've I've used um, ChatGPT to write it down. It was a more complex file, if you remember, and I introduced the env. This time I'm gonna show you, I find many, um, many, uh, many interesting projects, and I've selected a few ones that is presenting, let me see this previous article I've made just to show you the schema. So the idea is that you can think about using fast api to make a core uh, application core and then using this uh, machine learning model or whatever spacey ptorch yolo whatever and then put on the top of it um, a website whether it made by streamlight or react or Vue or whatever okay so this time we're going to do these both things uh, in docker having the fast api as the back end and having Streamlight at the front end. So that's exactly what I've said. And for sure using a bake file. So this is what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do, so you have the description right here in my walkthrough and the walkthrough you can find it right here. Okay, and it's up to date. So let's get there. So we're gonna open two, like in the previous video, I'm gonna open two so I'm here, I have my make file, and I'm gonna get there also, just to have on one side, I have the make, uh, so let's check the make file together. So this one, so you have this fast API, that would be our backend, okay? I've just replaced and put and cut and paste what I've already done. And then this streamlight things is gonna is going to simply uh, leverage on this fast API, and uh, you see, I'm going to I'm going to start, and then it will be. So let's do the make help to see what we have. So, for instance, that's strange. I should have my yeah. Let's say so. Make help. You have make okay. For instance, we are in the correct one. Let's. For instance, so rename it. I had it working in, and then you see, so I'm in the correct one. Okay, you see, I'm in the correct one. So I clear my console, and then I'm gonna make up. So that should that should create that should create the Docker compose um, of everything and build the whole stuff. So this time it's going to download. So if I check, it's going to create the fast API that will be the back end that will be deployed on the network bridge. And we have on the top of it, the Streamlight application, which is available on this port. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Just one thing to show before. Uh, I'm going to make enter the W, so it's going to leverage on this bridge. For instance, you can work, you can create your own network, which is an extra one. For instance, you can create this one. But um, I think it's better. So if I take make network, I see this new network. And if I need to remove it, I will do it like this. And if I say make network, I won't see any anymore. But this time we're gonna leverage on bridge, so on this one. Okay, so let's make up. And it's gonna build the entire stuff, meaning that it's gonna build the API. So it should take a little bit more time, but I hope I don't have to stop the video or accelerate it. I will let the, the things build. And by the way, if I check 
I I should see I should see I should appear in the image and also the container when when the operation would be done. Normally, I estimate even if my uh, broadband access is very poor, um, it should be around a minute. So let them work. Uh, what else to say? Um, so you have a lot of uh, example given, but I, I'd rather go on this one because I find him pretty handy. Uh, and you have also this one, which is a bit different and also is integrating um, not a fake one, but a real API, okay? And I think I give you the source inside the if I remember well, you have everything right here, and I think I can show you the article. I'm just, I'm just trying to I'm having some time. Yeah, that that was this one. Oh uh, no, that's not this one. Sorry, it's uh, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. And then so it's done. So let's see what he's done. He's running the install. Yeah, he's running the the API. Oh no, he's running already Streamlight. Cool. So he has made the he has made yeah he has made the things for uh, for the fast API and then he's currently building the streamlight thing. So what I'm gonna do right away, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get there. So meaning that that will be our fast API. And that will be our streamlight. Okay. So basically, when I will reload, I will see he's still installing. Yeah, he's installing streamlight. It's pretty. It's pretty heavy. For those who doesn't know what is streamlight, you can find Python better. If I type correctly, this is framework. this one it's a faster way to build API that's pretty cool and very easy to, to to work on that okay so normally it should be yeah I'm done I'm done so this I have this application which is Mamma Mia and basically I have the name generator the preview that it shows so if I take WP I will have the a name generator name and then I have here on the top of it the stream light so I do the same thing if I type a capital letter I would get an error but if I type a small letter it's just a proof of concept uh, it has it's working so for instance I can type B L or N okay so this is working and you see it working right away you see even the error so everything is there. And if I say, so for instance, I'm going to take make help. Remember, um, I can say, okay, I have two instances working, which is the one with fast API and the other one with, uh, the other one with Streamlight. Okay, what else can I show you? Uh, make, uh, enter, um, and then is working and TW is working on this bridge. I know he has created his own bridge. Yeah, he's, he's leveraging, sorry, on the bridge. And that's exactly what is written in the Docker Compose. Okay? He's leveraging, and then you see it, by the way, inside this one. He's building the whole stuff. He's building the network and then container for first API and Streamlight. Okay, so let's stop it. I would say make down and then it will remove the stuff if I reload it will stop and don't forget to make I usually make prune because it takes a little uh, much more space on my uh, on my poor Mac okay and then you can remove it directly from here because it's not used anymore and then you get back to the to the beginning okay we're good we're done uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to read my article you have the article right here you have the source code right here 
view youtube channel is down here you can uh, create and thank you for watching hope you enjoyed my video and see you for future video bye bye Thank you.